Oh, hey, sorry. Welcome to- Whoa! I want to read that. This is what, the fourth video now? That's exciting. I'm gonna try to make as many of these as I possibly can before I'm literally, you know, found, squashed underneath a pile of, uh, you know, paperwork from the state of New Jersey of all the things that us teachers need to do. I'm not complaining, but <laughs> complain. Help me. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your grandma. Grandmas love me. I dress like a funky grandpa. Grandmas love me, they should subscribe. Anywho, so to show appreciation for those teachers who have maybe put my videos on in their classroom, how about this? Why don't you take a bathroom break? I will watch your kids. I could be a teacher, I could watch your kids. Watch this. Jeremy, don't lick the desk. That's disgusting and everyone's looking at you. Gross. Kevin, that's, that's not food. That's an eraser. It looks like food. It's not food. Jeremy, what I say about that desk? See, I can teach your class. Is that enough time? It should have been enough time. Otherwise, gross. This week for Whoa, I Wanna Read That, I wanted to share my favorite book of last year. Excuse me. Burped. And that book is Floor and Ulysses by Kate DiCamillo. Some of you may have already seen my video where I read to invisible internet strangers the first few chapters of Floor and Ulysses. And to those of you who have watched that, all nine of you, thank you, appreciate it. Always appreciate that. You can find those videos of Books Are Awesome on my Vimeo page. That's uh, vimeo.com slash Mr. Wasco. That's me. Here's a clip, let's watch a clip. And when the squirrel in the Tickham's backyard got swallowed up by the Ulysses 2000X, there weren't a lot of terribly profound thoughts going with that system. As the vacuum cleaner roared toward him, he did not, for instance, louder, think, louder, Here at last is louder. my fate. Come to meet me. He did not think, oh please, give me one more chance and I will be good. What he thought was, man, I sure am hungry. <laughs> what a dork, am I right? Kate DiCamillo is the author of so many books that you read when you were in elementary school because of Winn-Dixie. Nah? Nah? You know you read that in elementary school, you probably cried. Don't act like you didn't cry. The Tale of Despero, which they turned into an animated movie starring Matthew Broderick because of course they did. Is that how you know that a book is good if they make the animated version of it? As a teacher, it kind of ruins it. It's kind of like, hey, here's a book, it's awesome. And then kids are like, I saw that yesterday. It was on ABC Family. No thanks. I like to call that the Coraline problem. So first of all, it starts off with a graphic novel. In the Tickham kitchen, way on a summer afternoon. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you! What is this, Donald? This is your birthday present. It is the Ulysses Super Suction Multi Tyrant 2000X. Happy birthday! It's a vacuum cleaner. It's Ulysses 2000X. Yep, it's the crown jewel of vacuums. It features an extra long cord so that absolutely no mess, no dirt is ever out of your reach. It's indoor, outdoor. It goes everywhere, it does everything. Goody. You have to try it, turn it on. For heaven's sakes, Donald. Please. Whoa, hey now. What in the world, Donald? It's multi-terrain, you should try it outside. And that's how it all began, with a vacuum cleaner. Really. She's a genius. Kate D. Camillo. Genius. What young person is not going to get hooked by a comic book? It starts with a comic book. I'm hooked because it's a comic book. Pictures make books better. Oh man. No, not again. Well, you know what that means. Dance party. Turn it down for what? like, holy bagoomba! Literally, that's what she says, holy bagoomba. And she runs for this squirrel, and she, she, she takes the squirrel and just brings it back to life. And she's convinced after that, after seeing the squirrel come back to life, that the squirrel has superpowers. Now, Flora's mom does not like this. 
Flora's mom actually wishes that the squirrel would just go away, possibly even forever. What a mean mom. How dare she? What mom would not want their child playing with a wild squirrel that they caught outside from a vacuum cleaner? Someday when I'm a mom, my kid will have all the pet squirrels they want. Someday. The teacher part of me, though, finds this book even more fascinating because Kate DiCamillo, she kind of does this on the sly. She kind of forces you to learn new words because, you know, she uses them in the context where you can't help but want to know what they mean. For example, cynic. Flora is a natural-born cynic. You can't help but know what the word cynic is, and if you don't know, then you have to look it up. Just use your phone. Phones talk to you nowadays. Watch this. Okay, Google. Define the word cynic. Cynic, a person who believes that people are motivated purely by self-interest rather than acting for honorable or unselfish reasons. Cool. There's other words in here, too, that she does the exact same thing with. One of those words, I still remember, I read this last year, is treacle. I didn't even know what treacle meant. Treacle? That sounds gross. Ew, treacle? Get out of here. I don't want your treacle. Turns out, treacle's a fun word. Watch this. Okay, Google, define the word treacle. Treacle, British term for molasses. I guess that's not, that's not that fun. The other definition is overly sentimental and overly cornily sweet. But uh, I guess it's also molasses for English people. And again, you have an author who respects the intelligence of the reader, which is by far the most important quality I look for in any book that I recommend to anyone. Otherwise, we'd all just be reading Georgie the Giraffe Goes to Camp. Yay! Georgie's a giraffe and now he's at camp and he made some friends. No! You're smarter than that. So that's it for this week. Everyone should pick up Flora and Ulysses. Go to your local library. Go to your local bookstore. Go to, to the LMC and this very building students. Again, favorite book of last year. You will not be disappointed. And if you are, write me a message and yell at me and I will apologize. I will apologize. So, until next week, Holy Bagoomba! Okay, Google. Do you like to party? Here you go, some matching pictures. Literally the first picture I found. That was the most amazing picture I've ever seen.